Well, gang, uh, there's not much I can say for this, except that you had to know that it was coming. At some point in time, you had to know that it was coming. The best I can say is that eventually, these people and corporations are going to run out of things to destroy. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. Let's take a looky looky here. Let's get to business. We're over here at Bounding Into Comics with Spencer Bakuli, man. Boom Studios and IDW, you know, that company that's trading for a dollar right now. Race Swap, the titular Turtles, Human Forms, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 crossover. That's right. They're all black. Come on down here. We'll read the article in a minute. There's your new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because why not? I guess everything else has been done, right? Right? I mean, if you put enough of this crap front and center, eventually in 10 or 15 years, I'm not even joking when I say this, in 10 or 15 years, folks are going to see this shit first. Do you know how I know that that's true? When I go on YouTube, I watch certain channels. They're called reaction channels, right? I'm sure that you've all seen them. I have no doubt in my mind that you know what I'm talking about. And you will see one of the most common examples is people that are watching Bee Gees videos, Saturday Night Fever, you know, all of, all of those songs that the Bee Gees did back in the 70s, back in the 80s. White people are watching them. Black people are watching them. Mexicans, Japanese, Orientals, all of them. Everybody watches these channels. It's, it's quite lucrative. I might do one. I don't know. But then again, I've heard almost everything. And uh, almost to a man, that would include woe man. These folks are like, oh, I've heard this on a mix before. I had no idea it was X, Y, and Z. Mm. Or you get a whole bunch of black folks that are like, these motherfuckers are white? How they white? I didn't know they was white. <clears throat> and that's because over time, these things get sampled and used and recycled so much and associated with certain cultures, ethnicities, that the people that originated it, they just get covered over. Not necessarily forgotten, because there's old heads like me that are still around that'll be like, yeah, that, that's been here for a while. No, uh zoom, zoom, zoom through my little supercomputer in my hand, show it to them. Oh, uh, wow, I didn't know that. I know, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. And it's the same thing here. In 10 or 15 years, people will be looking at the black ninja turtles in their human forms. And they'll be like, oh, man, I didn't know they used to be just turtles, just mutants, that they were never white to begin with. So there you are. How ab absurd and ridiculous do you have to get with this shit out here today? Kind of crazy, man. Let's go read this stuff. Oh, man. In the latest example of Western Entertainment's favorite way to score social media points while avoiding having to put in any real effort to creating new characters, Boom Studios and IDWs have closed out their latest Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover with the revelation that the four green skin brothers' human identities have been race-swapped. Oh, yeah. There it is one more again, man. Uh, uh, power bunga, y'all. Can you tell that we are culturally bankrupt now? That the people that are running these industries were your participation ribbon generation? Oh, it's them. It's them. Don't think for a second that it's not. Picking up six months after the conclusion of Ryan Parrott and artist uh, Don Mora's previous Turtle Toku team-up, the aptly named Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 sees the two teams reunite to take on the combined forces of Krang and a powered-up Rita Repulsa. Now going by the moniker 
Mistress Vile. Get in there, Mistress Vile. Get your some. Eventually, fighting off the villain's planned invasion of Earth through a combination of new Zords, new transformations, and stellar teamwork, the series Climactic Battle eventually ends the day saved. And Rita and Krang locked away within the same kinds of containers that once served as the former's moon based prison. There's Shredder. There's Splinter. There's the little goofy robot. Oh, man! Power Rangers! Come on, y'all! You know that little motherfucker right there? The R2-D2 with legs? Yeah. As Angel Grove begins to pick up the pieces and rebuild in the aftermath of this latest attack, Angel Grove's unlucky. I mean, like, Tokyo unlucky. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Due, however, due to the, uh, being unable to freely traverse the surface thanks to their reptilian appearance, the turtles arrive to the festivities using holographic image generators to make them appear human. You know, a la Nightcrawler in the X-Men Evolution animated series, which was completely unnecessary and stupid, by the way. In doing so, the four are shown voluntarily taking on the guises of four black teenagers replete with their signature masks being replaced with appropriately colored do-rags, save for Raphael, who instead sports a head bandana. Got your little cornrows going on. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. These are your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now. They're cool, y'all. They're cool. They're so cool that they ain't white no more. Or green no more. Or anything anymore. That's what all of this stuff is. It's, it's ignorant. It's ill-informed. It's badly timed. And I can see why IDW is about to go under. Boom Studios, you keep doing this, you're going to go right behind them. Keep doing things like this, you're out too. Now, I know that you guys want your recognition and you want to be able to participate for these stupid awards. You want to go on Nickelodeon, be able to slime motherfuckers up. Well, guess what? If you want an audience and you want to sell comic books and graphic novels, you're going to stop doing this. Because if you don't stop doing this, eventually the material runs out. Plain and simple. You guys have shown that you're culturally bankrupt, that you're morally and ethically bankrupt. You are. You are. It's just that simple. Just that simple. You can't do anything original now. It's impossible for you to do it. It's impossible. It's impossible. This is the flavor of the month, and the month has lasted about five fucking years. So it's time for this shit to go away. And it will. Don't, don't misunderstand, folks. It will go away. As an aside, with a case, while a case could be made with uh, that this fact was revealed in the crossover's first issue when Donatello and Michelangelo appeared in these forms to hang out with Zack, this final issue is the first time readers have received confirmation that their brothers shared their aesthetic choices. So, you know, they're telling you that the turtles, these turtles, have chosen to self-identify as black. You ain't cool, white boy. You're not cool no more. Hey, hey, me hey Mex. Mex over there in the corner. You're not, you're not, you're not cool. You Orientals over there hanging out, looking silly. Wallflowers. You ain't cool. You ain't cool. No, you gotta be cool if you're black. Or you are a leftist ideologue that's just trying to keep their fucking job at these stupid companies. So there it is, folks. Uh, I don't think we need to read anymore. Your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have self-identified as black. Now, if it were, let me see, original black characters that you could build from the ground up that hasn't been done in a long time. Long, long time. Long time. You guys might have a shot at bringing in some original, uh, some originality, some original aspects, original black characters. The first thing on your mind shouldn't be how black can we make whatever it is that we're going to do. How brown or Mexican or Guatemalan or Chinese can we make it? How anything but European or white can we make it? When you're thinking this way, you are anti-creation. You are anti-creativity. When you have that 
three or four pages of boxes to check before you can even begin to tell a story, this is what you end up with. Shit like this. This is why the mainstream comic industry in this country is dead. It's not dying, folks. It is dead. And there's no, no chance of resurrecting it until you clean out the rot. And that means everybody. Do your best out there. I know that it's not the easiest thing in the world to do with the way that things are going. And uh, have no fear. We'll be back a little bit later today with some more for you.